In this video, I'm going to show you how to install XAMPP, which is a free Apache and PHP web server. Let's start off by going to www.apachefriends.org. Now, select a download appropriate for your operating system. I'm selecting Windows in my case. Once the download is complete, click the installer to start the installation. It might take a few seconds to start. Just click the Next button to start the installation process. On this screen, you're going to deselect the options you're not going to use. You only need to install MySQL and PHP MyAdmin because Apache and PHP are automatically selected and cannot be deselected. Next, make sure you remember the installation path as you will need this when opening Visual Studio Code. Now, select your language and select Next to finish the installation. The installation might take a while to finish. Once it's finished, keep the checkbox selected to open the control panel and click Finish. Once the control panel is open, click the Start button next to the Apache server. You should see a green color under the Apache name. I'm currently getting errors when starting MySQL, and that is because I have MySQL separately installed, but you should not see this error. You can also close this window, but remember to start the Apache web server every time after you reboot your machine. Now you're going to download Visual Studio Code, or just VS Code for short. VS Code is a free code editor supported by Microsoft. Go to the VS Code website and again, select the appropriate download for your operating system. I'm selecting Windows in my case. Once it's completed downloading, just keep clicking Next to install with all the default options selected. Once VS Code has finished installing, you're going to open up a new project folder. Just go to File and click Open Folder. Now, navigate to the location where XAMPP was installed. In my case, it was under C drive under XAMPP. Now, navigate to the htdocs folder. Now, in this folder, you're going to create a subfolder called LearnPHP, and this is where you'll be creating and executing your code from. Now, in order for us to know that our setup is working, let's go ahead and create our first PHP file. Let's call it index.php. And inside our PHP file, we're going to open up with our PHP tags. We're going to use the statement echo, and we're going to write hello world on the screen. We're going to close it with our closing PHP tags. Let's save. And if we go over to our browser, we can access our web server by typing in local host. Now, this will bring us to the XAMPP default page, which is the dashboard. But if you remember, we created a folder called Learn PHP. So we'll take away the dashboard, type in Learn PHP, and there we go. We see our Hello World has printed on the screen. And that should be it for our installation and setup. Next, we're going to look at the basic PHP syntax. 